So by now you're probably so in love with this new concept of trigonometry and we're going to extend its capabilities a little bit further. So did you know that you can also use trigonometry to find the angle of a triangle? So it's very easy. We just go back to Sokotoa and we look at the angle that we're looking for, which is X. And from that angle, we look at what we have. Well, we've got the opposite. So I'm going to write here, we have the opposite and we have the adjacent. No, Kevin, that is not the adjacent, that is the hypotenuse. So we've got the opposite and the hypotenuse, and so that is sin, right? Because sin is the opposite of the and the hypotenuse. So what we do is we say that the sin, now usually we would put the angle here, but so we're still going to do that, but we're just going to call it sin x equals to, now the opposite is 3 over the hypotenuse is 5. So to tell your calculator that you are looking for the angle, all you do is you say shift if you're using a Casio calculator and on a sharp calculator you say second function then you just say sin and then you just type in 3 over 5 and if you had to go type that in on your calculator it will give a angle value of 36,87 degrees and so that angle is 36.87 so when you're looking for an angle just use shift or second function depending on what type of calculator you're using and so we can move on to this example over here where we need to find x. So all that you do is you look at what you have. So we've got the 7 over here. Well, that's the opposite. And then you've got this adjacent side over here. So we'll call that the adjacent. And then you just look at Sokotoa and you see that, ah, tan. Tan does opposite and adjacent. So you say tan of x equals. Now the opposite must come first and then the adjacent. So like that. Then you just got to say shift tan of 7 over 10. And that'll round up perfectly to 35 degrees. And so that means that that angle there is 35 degrees. So let's try these ones over here. So the angle we're looking for is X. And so what we do have is this 5, which is the opposite of X. And we have this 10, which is the hypotenuse. So we have the opposite and the hypotenuse. And so if we use Sokotoa, which you're going to get so used to, with time, we'll see that sin uses the opposite and hypotenuse. So what we'll do is we'll say sin of x equals to the opposite, which is 5, over the hypotenuse, which is 10. You then say shift sin of 5 over 10 on your calculator, and that'll give us 30 degrees. And so the angle is 30 degrees. Moving on to number 2, here's the angle that we're looking for. And so the 5 over here, well, that's the hypotenuse. And the 3, that's the adjacent. And so hypotenuse and adjacent, well, that's cos. And so what we do is we say cos x equals to the adjacent first, because it says a first. And that's 3 over the hypotenuse is 5. And then if you had to go say shift cos of x on your calculator, so not shift cos x, shift cos of 3 over 5, you'll end up with an angle of 53.13 degrees.